Right, hello and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. So, I've done a bit of inventory management in between episodes. And a couple things, so a few ideas that might help us get through this. So I'm thinking, here's, here's what I've got. We've got pistol with a bunch of additional ammo. I bought for some spinals the gunpowder. Uh, from the merchant and I've also bought an additional first aid spray so we've got a little bit more healing to get us through um, as well as that I'm thinking of putting the mines on to the crossbow and we can use that since we only get like one good shot in in between hits uh, in between dodging attacks and that so second stage if we're hitting with a bunch of uh, crossbow mines that should certainly help I've already pre-crafted a bunch of ammo for this using that gunpowder and the resources and I bought some small resources as well, which when we get more gunpowder while we're in, we can use to make way more handgun ammo, which should see us through for a little while. So that's the general gist of the strategy. We're going to see if that's so enough of a change to make a difference here. Okay, gunpowder over there. He's done moving about. Looks like he's going for the bite attack. Ah! That's a lot of gunpowder. Mine ready? <laughs> Looks like it goes fairly straight as well. It's not like a... Uh, there's not much drop to it. I don't think I really had enough time there. I've only got four, uh, three more mines. So I'm trying to be a bit careful here. That gotcha. Gotcha. <coughs> Jump attack. Yeah, we're not going to get a chance in there. Watch your language, my lord. This has been an excellent idea. Sticking in with mines. <laughs> Mine ready. Do they really do that much? Holy crap. <laughs> right. I think that's it with the mines, though, isn't it? Right. Ow. Sod. Oh, we've got a full clip with the... Well, a full mag with the assault rifle ready to go. <laughs> right, if we can get him to the next phase, we've got enough assault rifle ammo here to blast him to hell and back. Going in for that melee attack. one attack and then he'll do a second attack. I thought I'd have dodged that then. I was barely poking out at all. Right. Whatever. We've got plenty of healing. How much for attachable mines then? Because they were really doing a number on him. I think we're better off getting some of those rather than... Oh, we've got bonus. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Oh crap, he's doing that. You can't do it twice in a row, you sod. Cheating bastard. He is though, it's like, you, know, you can't just... When I'm recovering from one attack, you can't immediately go into another. It's, it's like against the rules of basic games design, you moron. You can't chain stun the player. Not unless it's a PvP game. That got him, I think. Go, 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 go. I'm not getting in there, am I? Let's just stick him with another one. Stick him with another one. So, if you're wondering what the strategy is on hardcore, this is it. <laughs> oh, it's hurting. He's hurting. <laughs> Have it. Hello. <laughs> and a few more. We've got a few more ready, okay. <coughs> no, you can stay still. Oh, and that poked me, uh, I mean the mine's on. How are you not dead? Don't you chain attack me. Oh, he's, he's trying to chain attack me. Ish. Yeah, he's trying. Definitely trying to like keep hitting me while I'm down here, ain't he? Yep. Somehow that didn't hit. There comes the... I will behind the stairs, you... Ah, oh, you prick. Yeah, he's going to chain attack me into oblivion at this point, ain't he? I just need to make it to that med there I uh, when I beat this guy I'm going to absolutely slap his corpse around That's Jesus Christ he he's so fucking tanky like even after all that just explosives 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 and pounding him with them Lots of rifle ammo. Insta kill. F you. Yeah, the little mine poked me. They are so annoying because you have to look at him to see when he's coming at you. It's uh, you, you could argue that it's well that makes the, that's what makes it hard and challenging and yeah but there's a fine line between challenging and punishing and this is on the wrong side of that line like hey made you look even though we made it so you have to look we're gonna punish you for that now by instantaneously killing you and making you have to redo the whole boss fight 
Uh, no, that is just bad design. That is poor design. I'm trying to think, if I were going to pick a boss out of this, have there been any that I've actually like found? And again, it's... Hmm. Just miss... Getting to miss an attack. There we go. Let's get past phase one. Now let's get past through phase two. In one go. Can't get out of the way quick enough because this column's destroyed here. Yeah. Great. Oh, and I'm out of mines. Right, come on. Craft. Need more gunpowder. And I couldn't quite get out of the way. God damn you, son of a bitch. Uh, get this used. Oh, we can still spray him with this thing. Those bloody mines! Come on! What was that? Just one every sodding where I go. Christ alive. Then it lets you get like two shots in. Ugh. I was doing that attack. Do we have enough for mines? We have enough for mines. Yay! I'm well, really hoping it'll give me some bonus ones, but... Oh well. Eight's pretty good. Right. Still got two full heals. You did two attacks, you meant to allow me to get a hit in now, aren't you? Them's the rules, right? Gotcha. Stab. There's three, I think. <laughs> yeah, and there's turds all over the floors. Lovely, lovely. And there's one there. Ah, uh, not quite. Need to be more careful with them as well.
Oh, it's the one way is above you. I thought it was the one way sprays in a vertical line. I am lucky to have not been hit by that. And hell usually follows that up with something else, so I'm lucky to not be dead really. Well at least he didn't wombo combo me. So there's that. There's like the weird shotgun blast thing that he does. He's immediately away, so I can't get an attack in. God forbid I ever get an attack in here. No. I do wish I had like something to do when he did that. Like I could just like dive to the floor or something. Oh, these pissing mines everywhere. And there's another one. That, the thing is, he's up, he put, he's up in rafters at the moment. I can't look at the floor where I'm going because he's up in the bloody rafters. And he's putting more of these things down everywhere. Right, get rid of these bloody mines. All of it. Flaming show, aren't they? <laughs> We're doing that one again then. Right, okay. Whenever you're done. Whenever you're done. Can I get an attack in? Yes, I finally get an attack in. <laughs> We finally retaliate. I think that one meant to be a chance, but not really, was it? Right. I'm probably best off actually running around here. Yeah, because it gives me plenty of room to dodge on this top bit. Problem is, when he does the shotgun blast, it leaves you a bit open for that. And that's his most powerful attack that he does, it seems. Apart from literally like stomping on you. Please be dead! Rock a knife on him. Follow up. Uh, not going to get there in time. Too much. No. Crap. <laughs> ah. It's just literally teleported to me. Great. Thankfully, there's an actual wind up to that one. He's got to be close. He's, he's just whining about being hurt now, so he must be close. Just be close to death, please. Now, this better be it. Finally, Jesus Christ Almighty! <laughs> right, let's see. Add this onto the like hour that we spent on it last time. Yeah, that's been like an hour twenty minutes killing that boss, and we get lipstick. <laughs>
It's done. We've won. That's our moment of victory. Right. <laughs> That's all the ceremony you're getting, pal. You've annoyed me. Right. Okay. And let me guess. Can I not go back now and get me... Uh, yeah, is that the door I came through? Yeah, we're not getting back there, are we? Yeah, so I can't go back to the shop. Right, onwards onwards we go. If it's expecting me to have ammo at this point as we get to this last stage, I don't know what it's playing at. Also... <coughs> yeah, we're going to need some more bolts. There we go. Hmm. Get it all used. There we go. The good news is we've got plenty of pistol ammo. No time to lose. Literally, plenty of pistol ammo. We have bolts. That's all I can really say. We've got a decent amount of rifle ammo, and we've got some SMG rounds. That's yeah. Hmm. I want to go and get a shotgun as well. At some point, but yeah, it was worth getting the first aid spray then from the uh, from the shop. Yeah, I think we're going to need a few more supplies than this to go and win the day. Um, honestly, we, we can take that right now. There's no point carrying that about. Um, didn't miss anything. Right, go. Right. Ah, Rosa. wonderful. Where do you think you're hmm. taking her? Oh dear. I fought the boss version of you, so I'm not scared of you anymore, pal. I should have definitely gone for the melee there, shouldn't I? Doesn't matter. Lovely. And that goes a little bit of a way toward uh, making up for spending spinals on flaming gunpowder, of all things. Right. Let's wind our way round here then. Oh, hello again. Another one. I fail you, my lord. I was unable to fill your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil uh, temperament during his younger years, when he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering uh, Pulgarcito behind his back. He summoned her to his private chambers. After forcing her to kneel before him, he doused her face with a vial uh, of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched in glee when the servant arrived in, ag uh, in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams this very day. 
As time passed, his treachery only deepened, and that uh, infernal cult soon learned they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiends. They manipulated the master and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they've managed to use him to unleash uh, last Plagueis, uh, Plagueis that the Salva Salazar family has fought so long and hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured, I, in, uh, I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end. Whatever fate may befall us, as a faithful servant of the Sal Salazar family since birth, it is my duty and my penance to you. Someone's very committed then. Right. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. Oh yeah, lovely. Another boat. Um right. Got a box over there. We'll see what's in it. Good, good. And we've not missed anything on the map? Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything that we've gone past. Missed or anything, so... Away we go. Boat ride. Well, boat chase. Here we go. Ah, damn it. Looking for something? And there we go. Overthrowing the castle, and no thanks, bro. Have been completed. There we go. Death 16. God. Hmm. <laughs> 16 deaths, but damaged 21 times. So, most of the times I died, it just killed me. I guess. <laughs> Told you, his damage is a bit high. I knew it. Right, what's my storage like? Eh, not bad. Um, we can probably... Ooh, we can't quite bring that along yet. Um, we might as well keep this because we do have a full magazine in it. Uh, so we might as well hold on to it for the moment and either use it before the next typewriter or just hold on to it. Maybe. We'll see. Um... Mind you, we can't. We, we can. Uh, we can fit it, of course, can't we? What am I thinking about here? Right. It's got this auto sort. Yeah, it's it'll automatically sort things, but it won't necessarily do the best job of it. There we go. Right. Now it'll do a decent job of, because it'll be taking that into account. Right. Um. Hmm. So, that looks to be that. We've got everything we can carry. Literally, we cannot carry more. We, we really have brought everything we can carry. Um, ooh, I could craft. We've got the resources. I can put some handgun ammo together. Get our bonus five. Lovely. And we should definitely try and craft. If if we just need ammo, crafting handgun ammo is a decent uh, decent idea because we get bo we get so much bonus. It's ridiculous, right? And we're not going to overwrite this save file there because that's before the clock tower. In case I accidentally soft lock the game by not having enough ammo or resources or whatever when I get to a boss fight or something stupid. Which would be a horrible way to go. Right. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time for more Resident Evil 4. I'll see you then.